Hello, John here again, and welcome to episode 3 of Tutorial 37. And this tutorial is all about the community game development series, where we are going to resurrect Hunchback. I think I caught, I think we could, I originally called it Re Revenge of Quasi, something like that. Yeah, well, in the last video, we looked at the basics of Git and I completely screwed it up because Linux wasn't playing very well. But in this episode, we're going to look at how we can use branching and merging uh, of the, the source code. So when we start doing this, we can start um, having individuals uh, working on their own bit, but you working inside the branch. So what you have to imagine is branching is where we have already spoken about the master set and the master set is the master code that is the code that the software is all about and really you shouldn't be modifying the code in the master set you know that is there just as your fallback position if everything goes wrong then at least you've got the master code and what you normally do is when you start developing on something you create a branch and then you work within that branch. So you do all the code development and stuff like that within that branch. And it's like a tree. Off the master code can have many branches coming off it because you could have many people developing an application and they need to create a branch of their own where they can uh, work on the thing. And that's where we come in and, you know, we're going to be branching because we're going to have more than one person working on this, hopefully, instead of just me on my own. And we'll create branches for those people and they will be able to work on their bit. And uh, then that leads on to merging where we take that branch and we've got our master uh, set and we merge that branch back into the master. And hopefully everything works fine. Yeah. Knowing my luck, it'll probably go completely wrong and you'll be laughing at the screen, but hey hell, here we go. So, to our dev box. Here we go. So, using Linux again, because I might as well. Oh, would you believe it? <sighs> Every time I run this thing, Go on then, I'll fast forward it. And we're back. I think eight minutes later, finally. Oh dear, I thought we would, with Linux it wouldn't be too bad. Anyway, so we're going. I'm going to demonstrate branching and merging, hopefully without a hitch. So, I'm going to do what we've done before. Visual. St we're going to do it from within Visual Studio. And so I'm going to load up our little test program has it remembered it oh yes it has oh we've had an update right okay then no problem look at it baby so this is our um, program so if we do uh, control f5 should fire it up there we go so it's just a simple blah thing. So what we're going to do is, let's say we need somebody to, um, we need somebody to um, make the border flash. So 
As you can see down here, this is where our branches are. Yeah. So currently we're in the master branch and we need to create a new branch. So we can either click on it there or you can come up here. So we want to create a new branch like so. So we're going to give it a name. So um, John's first branch. And as you can see now in studio, we are now in John's first branch. And we can show this by just changing this um, this uh, this file. So we want it to we want it to update the yeah why not we want it to store y in do 2 so that's going to put the y color into the into the border so we'll save it and as you can see git has already said oh this is different so so it's uh, can easily have a look there we go click there you go it's saying that's different so I'm gonna add that to the staging area and we're gonna commit it so my border change if I could spell click tick now that has put that change into into git. So we should be able to run this and see what it's going to do. Control F5. There you go. So now it's doing the oh, wow, psychedelic. So it's now doing the border. And just to show you how what branch the power of branching is I could say take me back to the master branch. So click master and straight away it's now put me back into the master branch and the line that I've added has disappeared because we're now in the master code we're now in the master code and in the master code we didn't have that line so I can go back to my branch and there it is it's back that is my branch so if I want to merge this 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 branch back with the master First, we have to be in master. So we'll go to master, and there we go. And then we have to merge, merge, he's merging here somewhere. Nope. This is where it goes horribly wrong. Now let's have a look. Merge branch. There we go. So is the I thought let's see, right click. No. So that's selecting the branch. I thought we could merge from here. Well I'm a, that's annoying. Well, apparently we can't. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. So, Control Shift P brings us the command, and then we can type in git merge. There you go. There it is. So, click git merge. And it's saying, what do we want to merge into the master? Because we're in the master, what do we want to merge into the master? So we're going to say John's first branch. Okay, so we click that. And straight away, it's done it all. It's done it. Like that. Like so. So now, 
the master branch is gone. Well, the master branch. Oh, it should be the same, that's it. And our code, so if we do, because we're in the master, if we do control F5, control F5, get the key, get the keys right, John. There you go. Now, let's say that we need to make another change. So we could use the master, we could go back to my first branch and carry on changing it. So let's say we don't want the border color to be changed using the um, thing, but we want it to be just increased by itself. We don't want to put Y in there. I know it makes no difference, but oh, no, let's do it completely different. Let's make it, let's do it there. So it increases every every loop. So it's gonna be the same sort of thing, it, but it be, the colors will be out of phase of the, the background. So we'll save it. We'll do a quick run to see what it looks like. There we go. Yeah, really psychedelic. I mean, to be, to be really, really, really. Let's undo, undo, there we go. And we'll change that to be one, change that to be zero. There we go. So, control F5. So we're now making the background do the psychedelic colors and the border. There we go. Wow. <laughs> And now we could, and, and so, so we've modified that, but we haven't checked it into the branch yet. But what happens, so if we go back to the master branch, here we go, back to the master branch. So if I run that, that should be the other way around, yeah? Ooh. Oh, I've merged the back master back into there, aren't I? Blank. Yeah, it's not, no difference because I've merged it. Uh, okay. Master. That's it, right, so this, so I've checked it in because it was using the same code because I had not checked it in, so it's classed as unmodified. So there's the master, which is doing what it used to do, right? So which is the border. Then we go into my first branch, which should be then doing it the other way around. There we go. Gotta to remember to check in, gotta to remember to check in. But what happens if the somebody has changed the master? So if we go into the master and let's say somebody has changed the master and they've gone and added another line in. So this is gonna store it in 0700 comma Y. So let's see what it's gonna do. Yeah, right, so it's done both. Yeah. So we'll stop that. And we will we will stage it and then we will commit it. Added second set of characters. Commit. So when we go back to my first branch it's a lot different. Now, when it comes to merging this branch back into the master, 
we're going to have a slight issue, I think. So let's try it, shall we? So Control Shift P, Git Merge. Oh, there it is. Merge that, and straight away, look, it's come up with some errors. And what it's saying is there's a conflict because the master was changed after the branch and the master has got this, used to have this and um, mine doesn't have that, it just has this. So there's a big conflict there. So what we need to do now is to say, okay, yeah, fair play, but we want to keep part of it. So what it, what we do is we say, we want to keep that, but not that, and that. And then once we've done it, we can say commit. So, so I forgot to stage it and then commit. There we go. And that has now brought master back into line with the first branch because the first branch now is being merged into the master. So if we control F5 it, there we go. So now we've got the second set and it's the border that's gone psychedelic. But as you can see, if I go into my the master branch there, that doesn't have it. And you've got to be careful because once you've finished with a branch, it could be vastly different than your master. So if you want to branch it again, so if we, we have to go back into master and then click create new branch, John's second branch. There you go, so that's John's second branch. Go to John's first branch, is different. And go to the master, is different again. Now, I've not actually tried this, so okay. So let's see if we can do, oops, what's that? Create new branch from, and we're in master, so John's first branch. Does it overwrite it? Ah, already exists, so we can't. Now, okay, Control Shift P. Can we delete a branch? Git. Can we do? Can we re delete a branch? So we can cr ah delete branch. So we can do delete branch. So if we've had enough with John's first branch, so we can delete it. And then it's gone. So now we should only have the two branches, which is there. So we've got rid of the first branch because we no longer need it because we merged it in with the master. It's all clever stuff, this is. All clever stuff. So this is what hopefully we'll be using. So we'll be branching and branching out the code for different aspects of the game. So we'll have a branch for you know, the scoring system, a branch for the moving system, a branch for the the graphics could have a branch just to just to embed graphics in compared to what we have before. And then everything will be merged back into the master and at the end of it the master code will be the code that we're going to use to build the game. So hopefully that was interesting. I mean wow it's one of my shortest videos. Yeah, but that is, what else can we do with branching? Let's see, so control shift P. So if we type in branch, if I could spell it right. So we can delete, merge, create, publish. Oh, really? Okay, git lens. Git lens. How can we git lens this? There we go, git lens. 
So the branches have gone. So my branch should be not there anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Let's change. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, so let's change. Let's change my second. And this time we want the um, colors to change. So D, so if it's 04, it's D8 in it, so it's D9. So we want the colors on the screen to change. We're going to change that back to being psychedelic and we're going to get rid of the can get rid of that. So change the border to be psychedelic. But we want the colors to be yes, the colors, but they're not going to change color are they because it'll always be the same. So, hmm, we could do this. Load D uh, D O two O and store it there. So that will change the color. Okay, save that. Control fifteen. Uh, control F five. Oh no, he's done it again. <sighs> Really, let's do it again. Five. Really, His vice has a lot to answer for. Right, control F five. Oh, you're joking me. This is annoying. Reboot time. Right, rebooted. Guys, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to use Linux, but if it keeps doing this, I'm going to go back to Windows. Right. See if it works. Control F5. See? Oh. <laughs> Changing the wrong colour. But there we go. So it's working. So now, because we've created another branch, we should be able to see here. So we can comp compare branches. So that one. And... That one. So there's no commit. That's correct because we haven't committed it yet. So let's commit this. So we'll add it to the staging area and we will uh, add, add it to the repo. So this is making characters glimmer. Yeah, it's not bad. Commit that. Then we can come back to here and we can compare, refresh. There we go, one commit. So, so what's it saying? Oh, okay. Right. So that's the difference between the two. So it tells us what the difference is. So we're copying it. No, I don't want to copy it. Let's make this bigger. Uh, so it's telling me what the excellent but here we'll we can see now we've you know the repo second branch we did a first branch let's move this down can I move this down oh yeah of course we can there we go 
Oh, it's even gone it a week ago. Cool. So there's the branches and what we've done with it. So we're going to now move this into the master. So go to master and Ooh, look at this. Because I'm in Git lens. Oh, I'm in Git lens lot. So right click, merge branch into current, which is master. So, okay, let's do it. Yeah, confirm merge. So we just do a merge. Does it do it? Looks like it. So we're in master. Get rid of that, then we don't need it. And sure enough, if we control F5 it. There we go. Excellent. So Git lens allows us to mess around with the branches. Cool. Hmm, I'm gonna I'm starting to like Git lens. I'm starting to like Git lens. This is uh, this is becoming yeah. Anyway, I'm starting to like Git lens. Glad I found it. So that is a basic overview of branching and merging and conflict resolution. So you be able to do this on your own machines for your own projects and to be able to learn how to control your source in, in, uh, in, in, in a way that allows you to version it. And the beauty of this is if you completely screw it up in a branch, let's say you've made an absolute blind of a mistake and you've changed so much stuff since you started it. The beauty of this is you can always revert back to the master. So always be mindful of your branching. That, I mean, you can branch off a branch, off a branch. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Just be mindful of your branching because the branching it can be very, very helpful, but it can also be very, very confusing because you could forget where you are. So be mindful of that. And the beauty of this is it's back upable. It's just like a it's just the directory. You just back up the directory to you, and you've got that repo with all its history, as before zipping up and everything, which I do. I did well, do did. I was zipping up the files. See now, when I write, when I do the commits and stuff, I actually write them as the episode number. So <clears throat> I have commits of the episode number, which I can restore and then upload into GitHub. That's how I do it now. So with that, if you like the video, hit that like button. Smash it, as they say in the YouTube world. If you didn't like the video, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment because I try to answer them all. And if you like what I do and would like to help the channel in any, any way, then consider becoming a patron. All the money raised in the channel comes back and is used in the channel. It doesn't, I don't use it for me. It always comes back to the channel. And... With that, I will say I will see you in the next episode. So take care. Ta for now. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.